Hello everybody, welcome back to Georgia B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I make a card similar to these. I right, started off with this one. And this one I made with my favourite things die that I got for my birthday. I use this image here, or this die. And I liked it and I thought, oh I can't film that because it's not stamping up. Even though I'm not a... I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but I don't... It's not a business. It's a hobby for me. So technically I can use whatever I want. But I thought I would try and do it with Stampin' Up! stuff. So I made this one. Using the balloon punch. I haven't used this for absolutely ages. And I won't be surprised if this actually retires in the new catalogue. So that's what I made but then I thought oh that's too big for this size card because it's a lot the balloons are a lot bigger Can you see that and I thought well I'll make it again show you how I made it but on a five by seven card and that'll give us this more you know whiteness to show evenly spread so that's what I'm going to do this one I use the art gallery dies. This die here. Out, so I want to use it to cut that happy birthday. Whereas on this one I just fussy cut a straight rectangle. So that's what we're going to do. So let's move them. Don't need them for now. I have got a 10 by seven inch card scored at five inch this is basic white from stamping up as I did buy a pack of their card I have got a four and three quarters by six and three quarter card for the inside and I have got a four and a half by six and a half for the outside I have got some strips to punch out seven balloons this is what was cut off from this end so we're going to cut out bunch out seven balloons I haven't done them and I've also got some uh, one eighth of an inch strips for the tails of the balloons now the reason I've got so many is because we glue three of these together. Now I did do one lot. Where are they? Not in there. I did already glue three lots together. Four this oh and I cut them up that's what I did yeah no wonder I'm not can't find a long piece so I have got four strips these are three and three eighths I believe no they're not the three inches so I've got four of them already so what we'll do is just glue another bit so I can get three more together and we'll do that now so that they're dry. Just put little blobs of glue all along the strips. These are 11 and 3 quarters. I've cut off the end, like I said. Oh no, I never said that. That's with the other bit. So we just line it up and glue them together because they're so thin they're quite easy to um, glue on top of each other you can use more but I think three is enough all it is is to give it a bit of support because you can't put dimensionals on them because they're so thin Right, 
Right. So there's the three all glued together. Get some scissors. Get one of these and just measure it. One, so that's four, five. We need seven. Seven. We've got one left. So those are seven sticks for the balloons. Now we need seven balloons. And we just need seven white balloons. A mini, uh, small balloons. balloons right what we got to do with these bring back the one I threw away one two three four five six I've only got six. No, I haven't. I've got seven. Right, what we're going to do with these is just colour them in. I'm just bringing this in just to protect my worktop. And I've got seven colours of pens here. So this is Daffodil Delight Dark. I am going over the edge because I want to get right to the edge to colour in. Right, now I'm going to go this way. And that is our yellow one, Daffodil Delight. Next one is Lovely Lipstick, is it? Or Melon Mambo? Melon Mambo Light. And we're just going to Colour that in. And do it this way as well. Is that one? Right, I have got here light calypso coral, I think. Oh no, still works. I have to have a re inking session, I think, one day. And then this way. Clips of coral. This is Highland Heather. This is 
is also running out. Right, do it this way. Good if it was a planet you were doing because that's the effect you're getting at the moment. Don't like the way that's coloured in. So I'm going to bring the dark out and go over it with the dark. Now we've got soft sea foam light. I could have had all this done before I started filming, but then the video would have been about two hours long. Uh, two hours long. Two minutes long. Right, is that one soft sea firm? Now this one's just jade. like this colour. Right, and the last one is, where does this one go? There. And this one is Seaside Spray. There we are, it's all four colours, all four colours, all seven colours. Right, now we're going to lay them out the way we want them. So I'm going to have the yellow one up there. I'm going to have the pink one, which I just need to trim that bit off. There, just touching it. Oh, I need to do it this way. And then the, no, this one, soft sea foam there. And then we're going to have um, the green, just jade touching that. Highland heather, just touching that. And the pink. The blue. So that is the way we're going to have them. But first, we need to attach their legs. So, uh, yeah. My ink is blocked. No, it hasn't. Ink. Glue. So, pop a bit of glue on and just stick them on the bottom
and the last one. Right. Bring our card in and our card base. We're going to stick this Now this card is great for a friend, you know, someone who isn't a close family member. And we're going to stick some dimensionals on these balloons. Right, each one. First of all, I'm going to pop the yellow one down. And I'm going to pop that there. And the red one. I'm going to pop that there. So I want a little one as well. I'm just going to pop it down lower than the other one. Just a bit lower. And same with the soft sea foam. Post one by the sides of it. This purple one, I'm going to sit down there. So what I want is a at the right side. No, this side, and a bit of glue where it's going to sit on top of the yellow. Like that, and then I want my just jade to sit down a bit. Like that. So I want that dimensional to be. Down the bottom there and glue across the top because they're gonna it's gonna sit there and then this orange one is gonna sit there so now oh, this side at the top, and a small nut bottom. Bit of glue. And the blue one is going to sit just there. No, it's not. Yeah, just there. But I am going to cut that a little bit shorter. That's it. That just needs one dimensional at the bottom and glue around the top. Like that. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on some of these sticks 
just to hold them down. You could glue the sticks before when you put them down, but then if you've got to move them, you'd have a, a bit of trouble. Right now we've got to do the sentiment. I'll keep that there. Bring in this thing and yeah, I use. Is that big enough? Yeah. And with our happy birthday and our versifying. This happy birthday, by the way, is out of Hey Birthday Chick. I don't want to overstamp it. Great. Put that in the bin. Bring my sidekick in. And place this so it's in the middle. out. And my husband very quietly trying to open a letter. Not having much luck. Right, and this we're going to place over here with a dimensional either side, and then we'll glue the the middle down. So we just want a mini dimensional at each end. Do is I'll just place glue down the middle and it will catch. And we've got it on all seven uh, sticks. All right, with our white gel pen, we're going to draw a curve on each balloon just so it looks like it's shining there we are so that's my 5x7 I like it on a bigger card with stamping up um, balloons because that looks too crowded whereas here it doesn't it's got more space like that I hope I've explained that well enough I haven't done the inside I don't think I put anything inside these did I? oh yeah wishing you the most beautiful day yeah, I will stamp that afterwards. I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If 
you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.